Hello again, a new day, some old problems. So here I have my two clamp meters. This is a Kwitz uh, HT208D. And here I have a B-side ACM103. Okay, never ending story. You know, cl these clamp meters, they are never on zero. I tried calibration I try to change some parts inside there you know it's it's always a mess same story here now we are on DC and I have like 220 milliamps 0.2 residual even farther is going up to sometimes to 40 or something so it's kind of mess let's try to measure something you see that's my uh, solar inverter here we are on DC and we have like minus 15 amps 15.3 okay let me try this guy minus 14.65 something all right what's funny if i measure the other way minus 15 minus 16 of course the sun is going up and down plus 9 10 that's because the sun you know 10 amps change polarity 8 minus 8 something 8.7 okay let's see the other guy minus 12 14 minus okay we have a plus 12 11 like i said before this is because the sun how can we fix this you see here on this clamp meter we have a switch which is rel and zero that's relative and that's a zero if we touch this before any measurement then the clamp meter is going to zero you see now let's see what we got here minus eight nine is going up and down because of the sunshine outside 15 amps 13 amps you see this guy is on zero Somehow I have a better measurement, 6.6 .6 amps, 6.3, oh yeah, it's getting closer. Okay, let's see the other guy. Here we have only a rail switch. And if I'm pushing this, I have on the display the same RL, R-E-L. And we have a zero on the display. 5.3 what about here 5.5 very close let me have both of these guys okay are we on zero yes we are zero well pretty close 5.2 with 5.6 5.17 5.5 it's a difference of course but it's not a huge difference and uh, 5.5 pine or uh, this is even closer this is even closer you see that very nice and the point is these clamp meters you know they supposed to have really high currents you know this uh, is made to to measure uh, 60 to 600 amps and here we have a 40 amps yeah it's a kind of tolerance anyway pushing this button here rel or zero and rail here bringing the instrument on zero that's because all these magnetic fields we have around same story here dc 0 0.35 see if i'm pushing rel relative then we are on zero and the measurements are much closer to the truth i'm outside let me try to do some measurements here i have three panels up on the roof there so I just want to measure these guys. It's hard to see K weights on uh, full sunshine, but I'm trying to cover this and uh, here we have zero pushed and we have like minus 4.06 amps and 3.75. I don't know if you can see this AC now we are on DC and 
rel. 3.6 amps. 3.62. We are so close. So this is a really good measurement. Okay, so here I am again on my bench and let's have a really interesting test. You see, I got a really powerful bulb here. This one is taking a lot of current. Here is my uh, multimeter on M meters and on 10 amps. Let's have a quick check for a first measuring, in fact, you know, for the current in the system. So we got 450 or 47, and here is the same, 440, 41. Well, this is really getting hot. Let me change this. 472, 467, almost there. You know, this is really getting hot. And you know, guys, I've been looking in KWIT's manual, and as we can see, in DC current measurement mode, the key is zero key. Zero key here. So only in DC measurements, like we got here now, this key is zero, but only for DC. And it turns to zero. It's like a zero calibration or something. Okay, for the others, a rel from relative, uh, stores the existing reading uh, delta something and resets display to zero. So for us in DC, what matters now is to have a zero on the display. Let's continue with the test. If I'm just opening the meter, you know, I already have a minus 50 something. So if I measure this now, this one gives me 5.2 amps and everybody else 4.6. So I have a huge difference. 5.6, 5.2, it's like 800 milliamps difference. But as soon as I push zero and try to measure again, let's see what's happening. There we are, 4.76 with 4.78 and 4.73 here. So I may say that's a perfect result. This is so perfect. Okay, let's try the other guy, which obviously have the same function here. We are on AC. I push this, now I'm on AC, 0 0.18. Let's push rel. And I have relative there, but in fact, it's a zero for DC current. And let's measure these guys. 4.14, 4.78. I got a difference again. 4.0 something. So amazing, but it's looking like this one. It's out of tune. I have to fix it somehow without a rail pressed. 4.01. As long as I have another one working perfect, okay, all you have to do is to push zero every time you start a measurement. 488, which is great. Is it with minus? Yes. What about this? I want to have a plus on my meter. 4.72. Perfect. 4.39. Okay, so this needs a little bit of adjustment. Okay, we are on zero now. Let's go back here. 4.22, so it's like 450 milliamps out of calibration. But anyway, for having the best results possible, always check for these switches here. Some models have a rel zero, like KWITS. We have a zero here on the display. Some models have just a rel, but always when you are measuring DC, push this button before any new measurement and you have a perfect result. 
Somehow the mystery is solved. I've been trying all kinds of things, you know, changing hardware, little trimmers, and uh, still not good. But with this relative or zero pushed, it's looking like finally the measurements are okay with a little bit of for tolerance. I hope it's useful. Press like and uh, also uh, press subscribe to my channel. It will keep uh, alive the channel and also it will help me to keep this channel going. Okay? Until the next one, be creative and have fun. Bye-bye.